Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we've got one system from the user P in Discord, so a massive thank you to them for sending in this simulation. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what we have got here. So, their system is called Lucident, the home system. So, let's go ahead and see what we've got. So it should be on my sims, there it is. Okay. Cool. Right. A realistic system with a sun-like star and nine planets, with moons and dwarf planets included. Okay, cool. So the home system. What do we got here? Oh, oh, wow. Okay. I thought that was like the whole solar system just in this little uh, thing there almost for a second. So here it is, the star itself. So as we can see, larger than the sun, little less in mass, bigger in radius, luminosity. Okay, cool, cool. Nice. Okay, first of the objects. We got Anast here. As we can see, it's a very, very white, reflective world. Have a little look underneath the surface or atmosphere. So there it is there. So an oceans. Got some oceans going on there as well. Very, very cloudy. What have we got here on the composition? So stats. 72 and 32. Okay. Got a two. It's got like a double ring around it as well. Look at that. And we've got some moons. So first of the moons there. Got a second moon over here as well. Okay, so there's both of those guys. Cool, cool. Next up, we have got this planet here. So second one, Terra Nevin. So a very earthy blue looking object. Quite ocean heavy, I'm guessing. Oh, I quite like the look of that. Oh, that's a great looking planet. I really like that. That's vegetation doing that, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the difference vegetation can make. It just give that planet that little extra kick. That's a good looking planet. I really like that. Very, very nice indeed. That's cool. I would personally have it a little dimmer on the uh, pasty there, but, you know, I really like that. That's a good world. You know, I may actually save a little copy of that, actually. That is a great-looking world. Maybe we'll use it in a system or something, but that's a great-looking world. I really like that. The uh, vegetation just gives it that little kick, and it just makes it look really, really good. Uh, we've got a moon as well. Looking good here. There it is. So very green on the vegetation as well. Cool, cool. Says both for those guys. So very hattable part of the system here. There's his stats. Parent planet must have some good stats. Yep. Okay. Next up, we have got this planet here, Alamus. So it's a again another oceany world under there. You can definitely see some water. There you go. Okay. Looking good. Nice. Yeah, a few, few moons around this guy. So there they all are there. Cool, cool. Right, next up we are heading to Idel over here. Just a little asteroid, okay. So we don't really need to get too close to it. There it is there. And then we got this planet here. So we got a gas giant. Flute on its side as well. Got a set of rings. Let's turn that all off so you can get a good look of it. There you go. Very nice indeed. Send the moons, labels. So they all are here. So if anything stands out, we'll get a closer look. But yeah, there they all are. Cool, cool. Quite a lot of moons around this guy as well. So there we go. Looking good. That's all of them. Alrighty. Okay, next up we have got... Did we go to Curio? I don't know if we did. There it is. It's a lone object there. Okay. So next up we've got this object here. So I put all this back. And I think this is where we started, wasn't it? So another gas giant, single ring around you as well. There it is there. And then this one has a lot of moons as well. So orbits. So we've got just loads and loads of these. Yeah, they look to be all just regular objects. They don't look like they're customised, so we won't check them all out. Yeah, these are all just asteroids, aren't they? So, there we go. But now, add to the detail. You know, planet with lots of moons. So, there you go. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go move on. Okay, so next up, we've got a Barry Center. It looks like there's a lot of action over here. So, what's going on here? So, two gas giants in a binary. They're both tilted on their side like Uranus, as you can see. So, they're Barry Center together. They've got some moons as well. A lot of moons are all over the place, so it looks like a lot of them have broken up. We've got another system here, another planet system. What's going on here? Quite close to the Barry Center here. So there you go. Okay. 
Oh yeah, lots of moons. They were pretty bog standard uh, spawns though. They didn't like that customized or anything. So there you go. Okay. So moving on now, we've got this one over here. These gas shots are really well designed. You can see there's a lot of time put into making these. So there you go. That's a pretty interesting one as well, actually. So we've got another object called Curio or Pax. Yeah, these are all bog standard because these are all the basic names. Uh, so there you go. Okay. It's all just uh, random objects again. Yeah, just asteroid there as well. Alrighty. All right, and then moving on, we got this one over here. So another. I mean, these gas shines are really well done. Really, really well done. So there you all are here. Okay. Cool. All right, so is that, is that everyone? So yeah, nine planets and dwarf planets. All right, okay. So pretty short and sweet system there. Uh, we'll just get a lineup, turn all that off. Look at the gas giants' designs. I mean, they are some wacky designs, and they? they're all very well done. A lot of a uh, lot of designing gone into these. So there they are. Cool. And onto the rocky planets as well. So there they all are there. And then yeah, lots of uh, rockies and moons. So more realistic designs, you know, not all the fancy colours on the rockies. You know, quite a pretty well done, realistic looking build actually. So yeah, pretty nice, short and sweet system there. So. With that all said and done, though, a massive thank you to the user Pete in Discord for sending that in. Yeah, very, very good. So that was Lucident, the home system. So I'm assuming all those planets of life, you know, they did have city lights on. That's obviously the uh, home. A lot of uh, lot of homes in that system. All the moons as well had uh, as well had um, the atmosphere, the uh, Earth light conditions. So pretty cool stuff. But anyways, with that all said and done, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short video as well. Stay tuned for more. And yeah, guys, make sure you make sure to press that like button as well. Subscribe, helps on journey to 30,000 subscribers as we get closer and closer by the day. I really, really cannot thank you all enough. Let's try and get to the 30k mark before the end of August. That is our subscriber goal. So if you haven't already, definitely go ahead and press that button. And yeah, guys, make sure you stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.